what it is, what it do. Our dysfunctional family is coming through with another video for you. Okay, so today we are actually just gonna try and stock up on some essential items. I don't know if you guys have heard, but word on the street is everything is gonna be going up. It's gonna be hard to find things. The supply and demand is going out of whack. Inflation, all those things. So we really don't wanna wait until the last minute to prepare. So every time we come to the store, we're just gonna, you know, buy a little extra and start having our little a little cushion so that way if stuff does happen we're not you know caught in the middle with five kids and no supplies so yeah that's pretty much what we're here for look at that <laughs> we need we need a yard space for all that stuff come on boo yeah we're definitely going out of our mobile home but look at these they're so cute these are orthopedic very soft like the color and only $14.98 Ooh, some pillows you have like a 30 40 dollar pillow oh, this is king. <laughs> oh. mm. i was thinking these look cute for like the kitchen huh yeah you got the only oh, i have a few okay Okay, anyways, let's not get too distracted. Oh, there's that thing again. Ah! <laughs> oh, all the Christmas stuff is out. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. That looks like the LOL one a little bit. It has a slide. It's huge. Oh my goodness. Four and a half feet tall. Yeah. Oh, look at the little twin still roller. Yeah. Okay, but we gotta focus because we are. The level? Oh, you need a toolbox? It's a toy. Oh. All right. We definitely have to start thinking about what we're going to get the kids for Christmas. Look at that big old truck. That's cool. A Bronco? Oh, it's Ford though. The <laughs> Chevy guy. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they got going on. Alright. Look at my Modelo. Oh, look, they got... They're all stocked up on the microband and the coax lights, huh? We need Lysol. Hopefully they have some. Which I think I saw. Sorry. Uh -huh, you're fine. Got the coax. Got the microband. Hmm. They usually... Where do they have the Lysol, I wonder? Huh. It's usually on an end cap, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, look at these cute little storage bins. They come with the lids and everything. It's a three piece for $21.98. Oh. The bamboo lids. That's cute. And they have plenty of storage bins right now. We're going to have to get some so we can organize the shed. They have the smaller ones are $9.98. And then the bigger ones are $20. Well, $19.98. So. Okay, do the scan and go? Yeah. Was there a long line on the front? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. All right. So we're going to do the scan and go today, you guys. We usually don't do the scan and go if it's, well, you know, if the lines are moving, we just kind of just sit tight and get in line. But since there is super long lines today we'll be using the scan and go which it's super easy you just have to make sure that you get your sam's club app and then um yeah once you get your app you put in like your credit card information and all you have to do is scan the items 
and then you're ready to go. There's like a line, a special line that you go through, but you don't wait, you just walk through. And I guess it just kind of like matches your QR code to whatever items you have and then you're ready to go. I've been really disappointed in the produce lately. Oh, it's cold in here. So hopefully they have something good. Let's get one strawberry. Let's get the organic, please. They are very well stocked. Today is a Thursday, so. And then we also need some green grapes. Look at these are jumbo. They're huge. Get some juicy grapes, please. That's your salad? Yeah. Might fit in my bag. That's your portion? Yeah. <laughs> but if you think about it, it's not really. Oh no, it's. Oh dang. It's $8.78 a pound. Oh my goodness. That's crazy because you could get the bag over there, three pounds for $18, and just buy the cocktail sauce yourself and save yourself some money. Yeah, this is the, let me see. It is three pounds. Crazy. All right, let's look at what they got for the chicken. The chuck on. They're very well stocked today. I'm glad because other times they haven't been so well stocked. Oh, they changed their packaging. Now it says no added hormones or steroids, all natural, no antibiotics ever. So I wonder, I'm wondering if the food administration has lowered their standards or if Sam's Club has just upped their game. Hmm, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Looks like the drumsticks are 92 cents a pound and the chicken thigh bone in skin on is 92 cents a pound too. The chicken tenders are 236, but like I told you guys before, we don't buy it because of all these little glue glue things that they add to it to actually make it a nugget. And then it looks like the boneless skinless chicken breast is $1.89 a pound. Today's not even our shopping day, but since they are stocked, we wanted to get ahead of the game because usually when we want the chicken, they're all out. So let's just do it. Let's do, let's do some of these babies too, because I don't know. Okay, let's do this one. Yeah, look, they, uh, they changed the packaging. <laughs> all right so we were really only coming in for a few things like i said so i'm gonna see if we can keep whatever our shopping trip is today under 100. you think we can do it <laughs> well i mean it's chicken so yeah. we should be all right so let's see if we can uh keep it under 100. yeah dude because sam's club is dangerous sam's club is just like target you come in here for one thing and you end up spending hundreds of dollars. It's crazy. Comment down below what's the most you guys have spent on saying, oh, I'm just going in for one thing. And then bam, you spent, comment down below how much. The ham here is bomb.com too, you guys. I feel like it is a bit pricey, but it's worth it because it has like none of the preservatives or anything like that. So yeah. We usually go for the buffalo, the buffalo style, but it looks like they're all out. So I'm going to pass on this for now. And look, it looks like they're coming out with like a, like they're adding more Mexican food to their stuff because what? This is asadero cheese. Comment down below if you guys know what asadero cheese is. If you guys are Mexican or Hispanic or even Latin, um, Asadero cheese is like a string cheese. It's like a very specific type of cheese that it just melts when you put it in the in the quesadillas and the tortas. It's very stringy, very like 
I remember going to Mexico when I was little and like my mom specifically asking for asadero and they, it used to come in like a little ball and be just very stringy. They also have pupusas. Masa stuffed with chipotle chicken and cheese. I have never seen those here, you guys. Scanning and going, scanning and going. All right, next. Yeah, this is like a staple in our household, you guys. Like, and we just discovered <laughs> that. Okay, so I've been making the kids these little peanut butter and Nutella sandwiches that we call the Reese's Pieces sandwich. And then recently we put them on the Hawaiian bread. How did you like them? Oh, they were bomb. Yeah? yeah. Weren't too sweet? No, it was good. Yeah, so now that we like added another thing that we do with, make the, with the Hawaiian bread. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so now with the Hawaiian bread, we make little, regular little sandwiches. We make a, the chicken, um, chicken and cheese melts in the oven with them. We make little sliders with them. Now we do the Nutella and peanut butter with them. So yeah, we're just adding to our, to our menu of things that we do with the Hawaiian bread. They don't have any toilet paper, huh? Okay, so they have toilet paper. They just don't have our brand. We use the Scott because we live in a mobile home and we have a septic tank, so. Yes, it's. Well, they're stocked up on the Aquafina, so that's good. Let's see. I wonder what they're looking like on the rice because they've been a little, little, uh, what would you say? Lack of not having. Oh, okay. It said two. You did four. All right. What happened? I just did three. Why? It's making an issue with. Oh, it's um limit. Yeah. Okay, so see, limit is three on the app, you guys, on the scan and go. <laughs> But it's just on the scan and go because we've because done. They, yeah, they cleared it for me last time too. Oh. Anytime. Oh, I see. Okay, so there is a limit. Cool. Okay, and then we like the Calrose rice from here. But they've been. Oh, they have it. Yes. Boom. It took about a month and a half. Yeah. So let's do it. Yeah, it took about a month and a half for us to be to find this. This is the first time in a minute. All right, so now we're doing things. We're doing things. And look at this. They have pumpkin spice at Sam's Club, you guys. 5.6 ounces? That's not bad. Or $5? That's pretty good. Comment down below if you guys have tried this brand. I want to know if it's any good. Ooh, look at this. What is this for though? Ice cream, cookies, milkshakes, yum. We bought the cinnamon toast crunch one like months ago. Like I want to say even a year ago almost. And we uh -huh. still haven't used it. So I wouldn't even know what to put it on. I mean, I know it says right there, but I don't know. Comment down below how you guys use them, if you do use them. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so freaking, it looks really, really good. It says bakes in 15 minutes, 12 molten lava cakes. And baking cups included. Oh, that's really good. That's like no cleanup then. Hmm. That looks really good. All right. So let's maybe see what's, going on this side of town oh this one you guys this is the one that we have the cinnamon toast crunch uh blend it says great for toast cookies ice cream and more but we haven't used it yet so maybe it's time maybe we can use them like as the top of the what are they called um what are those cookies called with the sugar on top snickerdoodles 
snickerdoodles that's what they're called so maybe top them with this instead of the yeah, we haven't had one yet. no just have the whole thing so i'm saying maybe we can make some snickerdoodles and then Ooh. use that instead of the sugar and uh, cinnamon yeah. it probably tastes bomb zbomb.com all right let's see christmas goodies are out baskets are out oh my goodness for what 40 bucks oh make our own basket <laughs> christmas lights i feel like they have a lot of the same style of decorations every year there's just very few things that are new usually i think i saw that last year and i'm pretty sure i saw that last year so, I don't know. But, they have the holiday party for the Popcornopolis. Okay. I mean, it is October, so I did not think that they're going to have all this stuff out yet. And they do have a lot of toys already out, you guys. I am shocked at how much Christmas stuff they have out already. And, I guess... I mean, if there's going to be a shortage, we should probably start buying them now. Look, boo, this is the one Kehlani... Well, this is the kind of doll that she wants, I think. Because I think this stuff would fit this, this doll. Don't you think? Yeah. I mean, I know she said American doll, but... <laughs> I don't know if she would appreciate it or not. She just has too many toys. Oh. Ooh. And I gotta be careful what I say because she watches these videos, y'all. So, <laughs> oh, look at this unicorn set. It's only 20 bucks. Unicorn hair play set. Ooh. That's I think she would love one of those. Yeah. That's cute. And then look at this. She could do hairstyles on it. I think Kylie is done with toys. I don't think we're going to be able to get her any toys this yeah. year. <laughs> so it's just Kehlani now. Ethi, I think, eh, there's some stuff. But I think he's more into the electronics now. Yeah. I think we're done with the toys, unless it's sports stuff. Yeah. Maybe we get him a nice football or something. But Oh, look at that fake little grill. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last year she wanted this little rainbow corn thing and she got, I think the purple or the pink one, I'm not sure. But I think she's over those now. Yeah. Oh, look at that cute little piano. A little grand piano. That's adorable. If we only had the space for all this stuff, uh, I would go crazy buying them everything. A Nordic truck is sixteen hundred. Good gracious! Oh my goodness! Treadmill. Oh, that's not bad. Six hundred dollars. When we get a freaking hand pay at the casino, I'm gonna come back and buy that. <laughs> so we pretty much didn't get the Lysol or the toilet paper. Okay. Everything else? That's pretty much it. You just gotta get toilet paper and... All right, do you already do the scan and go? I'm ready. All right, let's go walk through then. Shoot. All right. So pretty much it says scan and go fast lane. And then you skip the checkout line. And since you have the little QR code in your phone, Oh, they're decent. It's not too backed up. You go through. And bam, you're done. You're done. Done. <laughs> What's the total? 105.60. That's with taxes and everything? Yeah. All right. That's not bad. Before, it was 99.63. All right. Well, we stayed in it. It's probably all the CRV on the waters. Yeah. But, yeah. All right. Here we go. Have to show them your code. 
All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. As always, we love you. Bye.